All right, it's uh, February the 10th, and it's about 25 degrees. I'm about to freeze. It's out looking for some sheds, and I got in this little thicket, just kind of walking around. Came up on this. He sure is awful active for it to be 25 degrees. I don't know what kind of snake it is. But that's odd. What to be that cold? That little snake there. Anyway, I haven't found anything yet. I'm just still kind of walking through some of my spots. But anyway, I'll get back to looking. back so yeah, I think I picked most of the cherries off of this place this is my third trip found a couple of old ones years gone by I've probably found 20 like that this year I'll try to get a picture of those I've got them all laying in a pile but anyway I crossed this field saw some tines sticking up I thought it was bean stubble at first and I thought well I better look got my binoculars out and took a peek at it it's a pretty nice one long time anyway Okay, I'll keep looking. Well, I just picked this one up. It's uh, right there, 30, 40 yards, and I just had to turn around. And I saw something sticking up. I thought it was some bean stubble. Of course, a little closer look. Oh shit. Considerably smaller than the other one. But anyway, I like it. Guess I'll keep looking. Well, started off slow. Things pick it up a little bit. Again, just looking hard, really just uh covering some ground. Looking with my monoculars. And, uh, it's amazing how easy these are to miss. It's not a very big one, but it's a fresh one. And that one looks like it's been laying here for a little while, and I was just here a week ago. Tell you how easy they are to miss, even in a wide open field. But, all right, that's three for today. I was coming up through the woods here, looking for some sheds. And I saw a deer standing through the woods. And I couldn't figure out why that deer wouldn't run it off. Got to looking, and it's two bucks locked together. I don't know if you can see them, but this is February 11th, I guess. I don't know what they would be doing getting locked together. I'm going to walk over here and see if I can get close to them. It's crazy. So I've seen February 11th is 25 degrees. I've seen a snake and two bucks locked together. I'm going to be quiet here and see how close I can get.
know how long these deer have been locked together. This is just crazy. Why would they be after each other right now in February? And why won't those antlers come off? I found several sheds this year already. Well, I'm gonna see if I can come up with a plan. See if I can help one of them survive. This one's already dead, but let's see what I can do here. Break off there, Antler. How about how you, man? If you'll chill for a second. Come on. How about gotcha? Give me just another minute, bud. Huh. Well, I'm really close. If he'll stand still for a second, I could get that antler off of there. He could be on his way. Hey, there he goes. All right. Got him off. He didn't feel too good. But I got him. All right. Well, I hope he makes it. This one obviously didn't. I was able to get a strap hooked on the antlers. Like I'm holding them in place. And took my saw and got it cut enough where the other one could get loose. Whew. Anyway. Well. That was a shed hunt turned rescue, I guess. But, well, I'm going to uh, get that piece of antler off of there so I'll have something to go with the story. And I'll, uh, guess I'll keep looking for some sheds. Or two bucks locked together on February the 10th, however it works out. Thank you. Alright, well, here are all the two or three or four or five year old shed 
pieces of shed that I found this year. So I'll just get a shot of those. I'll show you how many you miss every year when you find these two or three years later. Anyway, thanks for watching.